four, three, two. The information in this program is presented for you to use at your discretion. You should consult your physician before embarking upon any change to your health and physical exercise routine. Welcome to Fulton Fitness. I'm your host, Jewel Peterson, your certified fitness professional. Well, we all know that exercise is important, and that's why we're here, right? Well, studies show that many Americans aren't getting enough. In fact, a new study reveals that only 20% of Americans actually are. So that leads us to this. Are you getting enough exercise? Well, here now to tell us how much we need is Dr. McKenna. He is the medical director for the Fulton County Health and Wellness Department. Dr. McKenna, thank you so much for being here again. Oh, it's great to be here. Well, let's talk a little bit about this. There's a new study that shows that only 20% of Americans are getting enough exercise. And that was surprising to me because every time you turn on the TV, it seems like there is a, a new way to exercise. And it seems like everybody's doing that one. But people aren't really, are they? No, and the study you are referring to is benchmarking the population against, or people and what they do against guidelines that came out several years ago about the amount of exercise and physical activity is the term that's frequently used that people should be getting to make their health better and help them prevent certain diseases and problems. And people just clearly are not uh, engaging in that level of activity the way they should. So what are the reasons why they're not doing it, why they're not exercising enough? Well, think about it. The, when our ancestors were running around, if they wanted to go get some food, they had to run out of the house and go down the street or go wherever they needed to to forage for it. Now think about what you need. You barely need to walk two steps to go to the refrigerator. That's true. Automobiles take us wherever we want to go. We don't have to walk or, or use any other kind of physical activity to get there. One of my favorite things about this whole world we've created for convenience or pictures I've seen is in a strip mall with a workout studio on the second level and there's stairs with escalators. And oh, of course, everybody's taking one. the escalators <laughs> up. To, it, it, we're just one. surrounded all day long by things that make it easier to default not to do anything. Right. So what, are the what is the recommended amount? of exercise. Yeah, the, the recommended amount is to accumulate over a week's period of time 150 minutes of moderate intensity exercise. And moderate intensity means brisk walking, uh, about three to four miles an hour to pace of walking. And when I say 150 minutes, I have some people in their head. That basically, that breaks down to 30 minutes a day, five days a week of okay. getting some kind of what they call aerobic or moving sort of exercise. It's also recommended that people uh, twice a week get engaged in resistance activities, yes. weight lifting, using bands. Even yoga or Tai Chi would constitute that kind of um, physical activity as well. Well, great. Well, today, in today's workout, we're going to be actually doing a workout that you don't have to leave the house. You can use household items. Um, talk a little bit about just, this is one of the ways to just find a way to work out. You don't have to leave the house. You roll out of the bed and just start moving. Go ahead and talk about that. Right. I mean, one of the key things to think about is, is about doing something rather than nothing. Even if you're at the office or you're at home getting up and walking around every 20 or 30 minutes is, is, can be helpful. But there are all sorts of ways that you can engage in, in activity at home, and I'm sure you're going to show those things. Just using your own body is resistance. We all learned how to do push-ups. We all learned oh, how yes. to do deep knee bends. Those sorts of things throughout the day are, are activities that can keep our blood flowing. The ideal uh, uh, recommendations are that it, when you're engaging in those sorts of activities, particularly for the aerobic effect, to try to do them in 10-minute increments. You need to sort of get things going for about 10 minutes to really have a positive effect. Okay, so are you saying 10-minute increments, meaning even for people that just... Uh, this is their first time exercising. They want to get started. Is that a good place to start? Well, the first, depending on your age and what your previous medical history is, you always check with your physician before you start mm -hmm. any kind of program or activities like that. But the rule is, is you know, go slow and uh, start low and, and build up to things and sort of let your body tell you what, what is, feels good for you. And talk a little bit more about why it's important to talk to your physician before you get started, because it is important to start, but we want to make sure we follow that step first. Right, because, you know, 
people, if they haven't seen their physician in a while, need to find out what, what their cholesterol is like, what their blood pressure is doing, whether or not there's any signs that they have problems, if they have a history of asthma to make sure that that's well controlled and that they maybe have medications around in case it acts up while they're exercising. Those sorts of things are important to discuss with your doc before engaging in these kind of programs. Okay, and talk a little bit about, you know, some people may say, well, I don't want to start because I may get injured. And you know, we've heard about the different injuries and the different things that have resulted from doing certain exercises. Bring some truth to that. Well, there's no doubt that uh, you can in begin to do some wear and tear on your body if you really engage in high-intensity exercises. But the flip side of that is, is to me, one of the more important things. Sometimes when people get a little aches and pains, they tend not to want to use their body because they think that'll make it worse. And the di data is overwhelmingly clear that being active helps to prevent and helps to make better those aches and pains. The, one of the most important things you can do for any type of arthritis is actually engage in these types of uh, programs, these types of physical activity programs. So it's actually sort of the opposite. It seems paradoxical that um, the things people worry about may not, they may not exercise because they're worried about joint pain and that mm -hmm. sort of thing. Exercise can actually make it better. Mm, interesting. Um, so squatting and doing different exercises like that builds muscle, it builds, um, for women, you know, we were looking right. out for osteoporosis. Exactly. So instead of way, staying away from those things, you want to engage as much as possible. It's, it's, it's strength, it's coordination, balance, and as you already alluded to, it helps keep bone density up mm -hmm. so you don't have problems with osteoporosis, as well as all the benefits to your heart and lungs and just getting some breathing and blood flowing. Absolutely. Well, thanks so much for being on the show, Dr. McKenna. It's always great to have you. You always bring great information to us. Well, thank you for having me. It's an important topic to talk about. Thank you. Well, don't go anywhere. Our workout session is next. Welcome back to Fulton Fitness, everybody. And as you can see, we've got a number of props on the set. We've got some step boxes. We've got some food cans. We have a couple of water jugs here. And we have some salt shakers. So during the warm up, go to your pantry, go in your kitchen, see if you see any of those items. Go ahead and grab them and make your way back. We're using household items to work out today. You don't have to go to the gym. These, these are the things that you need. Okay, now first let me introduce you to my guests as we move into our warm up. I have Justina, she's with Fulton County. I have Wyatt with Fulton County and Zara with a Z with Fulton County. Thank you so much to all of you for joining us today. All right, so moving into the warm up, everybody start running. We're gonna have a great time. All right, so like I said, we are first gonna start with the step box. So locate the stairs in your house. If you have some stairs, great. If you've got just a small step in your house somewhere, use that. If you've got a step box, use that. If you don't have a stairs or step box, no worries. You'll be fine. You're gonna follow Justina because she's actually gonna be doing this, okay? And that's just as well, okay? So you're gonna do great. All right, so let me get our timer going here. So let's continue to jog it out. All right. So how are we doing back there? We doing great? Good, very good. Again, go in there and grab your salt shakers, grab your paper plates. That was the other thing I left out. I've got some paper plates over there that we're going to be using um, just to show you. You can tone, you can get fit, you can do cardio, you do everything you need in the house. All right, 30 seconds on the clock. We're going to do 30 more seconds here just in this pace here. Go ahead and pick it up. Why do we warm up? Well, we want to increase the heart rate. We want to raise the temperature. We actually want to sweat. It's good to sweat. You want to sweat actually before the workout. Um, the warm up is so important because it helps prevent injury and just make, helps you stay healthy. All right, a few more seconds here. 10 more seconds. And then we're going to move into some other exercises, a little bit of dynamic. All right, let's go ahead and go here with a low knee. I call it a low knee because we don't need to go high just yet. We're still in the warm up stage. When we move into the workout, it's going to be a high knee. Don't worry, we'll get there. So go ahead and take your time through this. Just raise your knee just slightly. That's it. Good, a few more seconds here. Wyatt, you doing okay? Okay. Wyatt wanted to make sure that this was gonna be a workout that he could do. 
So I gave him just a couple of water jugs and I didn't fill it all the way up with water. So he's going to do just fine. I wasn't supposed to say that, was I? <laughs> all right, a few more seconds. Okay, let's go ahead with some heel kicks. Bring your heels up, but not all the way, just slightly. That's it. Doing great. A few more seconds here, and then we're going to move into the workout. I'm excited. I'm using household items. I love doing these kinds of shows where we use household items because it just goes to show you don't need to pay for a membership. There's no reason not to work out. You wake up, pull out of that bed, and just get going. You can run around, chase a dog in the backyard. That's a workout right there in itself. Okay, let's move now into the workout phase. Here we go. As the music changes, we're going to move into the workout phase. So here we're going to be doing our step ups here. So we're here. Let's go. Knees up. 30 seconds. All right. Come on, Wyatt. You with me? Okay. Good. And again, check out Justina. If you don't have stairs at home, if you don't have that step box at home, give me a shot of Justina, please. She's over there without the box on this side, Kevin. Give me a shot of Justina. She's over there without the box. So make sure if you don't have stairs at home, don't have that step box, you can do the same exercises. Here we go. Two more seconds. Got 10 more seconds here. Woo! Sweating already. This is great. All right, a few more seconds. Then we're going to move into squat jumps. All right, one more step here. So we'll take it down. Let's move into squat jumps. So we're going to be here and come up. Here and come up. Go ahead and come off the ground. Now, if you've got joint problems, stay here. Stay right here if you've got joint problems. Everybody behind me is going for it because they feel great. But if you have those joint issues, you know you've got your knees, you know you've got your shins. Don't worry, just come right in this motion. And you want to practice this. Why? Because it's like sitting down. You want to keep everything functional, you know? Keep everything moving. So don't shy away from it. Whatever you can do, do it well. Here we go. A few more seconds. I'm going to come off the ground here. So I want to feel the burn as well, even though I'm out of breath. But I promise I'm in shape. It's just hard to talk and work out at the same time. Here we go. But I love it. I wouldn't have it any other way. A few more seconds. Four, three, two, one. All right, let's shake the legs out. Ooh, I hear you. I hear you. We'll make it. We'll make it, Justina. Justina's looking like, I don't know, girl. Why did I sign up for this? All right, here we go. Step box here. Right to it. Let's go. Heart rate's up. I love it. You can tell your heart rate's up. Just go ahead and do a test right now. If you can talk and you're having a hard time talking like me, your heart rate's up. It's perfect. Doing great. Yes. Love this music. Doing great back there. I love it. Wyatt has decided he's not going to do the box. We're just going to continue with the workout. That's perfect. That's how you do it. Here we go. A few more. Got 10 more seconds on the clock here. That's it. Bring the knees up. Good. All right. Come on down. Now moving into our squat jumps. We okay? All right. They're not talking, but they're nodding. So I know we're in good shape. All right. Again. And you can come here and come up. You don't have to come off the ground. Come right here. That's it. And then increase the intensity. Just go faster. There's so many different ways to work out. No reason not to. Doing great. All the way up. I'm gonna go for it here. I like to feel the burn. Don't mind me. Keep doing what you need to do. Your doctor said, hey, lay off the, the exercises that bother the knees. Lay off the exercises that bother the shins then stay off of it, you know, just come here, if he says it's okay. Here we go, up, oh, I'm losing track of time. Don't worry, I'm, I'm still, I'm still with it. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, good, check the legs out here. Gonna move on. Let's go ahead, move your box to the side. You got your set box at home, you don't need it anymore. So to push our boxes to the side. You're by your stairs, you don't need to be by the stairs anymore. Grab your salt shakers or your food cans, or your water jug. We're gonna go with a little bit of agility here. I'm sorry, let me move over. Don't wanna block Wyatt. Here we go, so we're moving up and around here. Uh-oh, and that may happen while you work out, but that is not a reason for you to stop. Pick it up and keep going. 
All right, so everybody follow me, let's go. That's it, good. That's it. And Daryl, you tell me if the people at home can't see me so I can make an adjustment. Here we go. All the way up, good. How are we doing back there? Ooh, Wyatt. Now look what Wyatt's doing, everybody. I hope we can get a shot of him. Perfect, we got him. Listen, he's decided to take it upon himself. Not only run up and back vertically and back, but he has decided that he's gonna add weight to it. I love it. I love it, doing great. Five more seconds here. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, now let's go ahead. Keep the cans in your hands. Keep the jug in your hand perfect. We're gonna grab them. I'm just going a little lightweight today. But if you're at home, you can grab like dumbbells, grab your jugs, your cans. You're gonna come step forward here and go with a reverse fly. Pull them all the way up. That's it. You got it. All the way up and breathe. Doing great. I love this, using household products. You can't beat it, it's free, okay? Now let's talk about this. I am using salt, but that doesn't mean that salt is great. We know that we want to use it in moderation. Uh, we've learned that just taking a pinch is good. Take that pinch and spread that thing around as best you can, and that's it, okay? So I do have a couple of salt shakers up here, but I just wanted to say that, okay? Because we know that salt um, can cause high blood pressure. So we just want to be careful with that. How are we doing back there? I know I can talk and then you'll just be going and going and going and saying, well, when is she gonna stop? Okay, we're gonna stop right here. We're gonna put them down here, salt shakers, and put our jugs down and go ahead and line them back up like we had them before, you don't, or you don't have to line them up. You know what you need to do. Let's move right into it. Let's go. Doing great. I am sweating, love it. So Dr. McKenna talked about the importance of exercise making sure we're getting 150 minutes a week. So at least 30 minutes a day, five days a week. So important, all right? So in addition to doing what you're doing right now with me, get back out there this evening, get back out there midday, whenever you can, and get some extra time in, walking, running, playing tennis. I said tennis because I'm a tennis player, but anything, playing basketball, all of it. Here we go, a few more. We're doing great. We're not running into each other. I was a little bit afraid of that, but we're doing good. Five, four seconds. Three, two, one. Okay, let's pick the hands up. All right. Justine, are you all right? Because you, you've got some, some weight there, so my weight's a little light, but that's okay. All right, <laughs> opposite leg forward, okay? Lean forward here. Feel the pinch in the back. Having so much fun. And that's what fitness is about. I mean, do what you love to do. If this is just something that you just don't want to do, but you know you want to dance, like we had Stephanie from Boom Shock Fitness here and she did some dance stuff with us. You know, when you're doing that stuff and you love it, then do what you love, because that's what's most important. Here we go, bringing the arms up, nice and easy. That's it, come on. Oh no, we only have three minutes left. All right, so we're gonna have to pick it up here. Two more, I wish we could keep going. I just, I just wish we'd keep going. <laughs> Why it's like, no, we need to stop when we need to stop. Okay, let's put these down, okay? All right, put them down. If you have two or three, you can. You can use two or three. We're gonna go with a high knee. Um, a lot of athletes use this to just keep the body to be quick. Um, as I spread these out, I wanna make sure I don't run into them. Let's go right into this. Heisman move here, high knee. Here we go. How are we doing back there? Good. All right, we worked it out. We worked it out. That's it. All the way up. Doing great. Two more. That's it. Good. Ten more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, today we got a special treat, all right? What we're gonna do is, you're gonna grab your paper plates, all right? And I'm gonna take my shoes off because this is one way to do it. We're gonna work our core here, okay? So I pull my sock up here. And then Justina, she can't get on the ground. And she's just doing that just for the purposes of, for those of you at home, it's hard for you to get down. She's gonna use her hands and do arm curls. 
Okay, so we're gonna be in the plank position here and we're just gonna do mountain climbers. And we're using the plates to create, make it a little more extreme. That's it, good job. All right, Wyatt, good job. Now, Wyatt, you're supposed to have it on both feet, but that's okay. You're doing great. <laughs> you're doing great. All right, 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's come on up. Oh, we only have one minute left. So let's give me a high knee in place here for 10 seconds. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, let's bring it down. I'm gonna put my shoes back on and we're gonna move into our cool down. And you did a great job. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So I put my shoe back on and we change to cool down music. All right, let's go ahead and spread our feet here. And let's get it here side to side. All the way across, good. And let's bring the heart rate down. Doing great. We, we added that core part because I, I don't think we talk about the importance of core enough. Let's go ahead and spread our feet. Inhale and exhale here. We really want to make sure we keep that core strong, okay? So using those exercises like those mountain climbers are excellent. And the reason why we added the plate, and we'll do more of those in the future. I know some of you are like, what? No, we, we're going to do more. We're going to do more. And every time you try, you'll get better and better, okay? So as we close here, get some water, and we'll be right back. Welcome back to Fulton Fitness. I'd like to thank my guests, Justina Gordon, White Ware, and Zara Hughes for being on the show today. And I'd like to thank Dr. McKenna for reminding us of the importance of exercise. Remember, adults should get at least 150 minutes or 30 minutes per day, five days a week, of moderate intensity exercise. So that could be water aerobics or just walking briskly. Now, if you don't have a lot of time to work out, you can do 75 minutes a week of vigorous intensity exercise. And that workout could include jumping rope or playing a singles tennis match. And don't forget, it's also important to do specific muscle strengthening exercises at least twice a week. Well, that's our show for today. I had so much fun. If you have any comments or any questions, please contact me at 404-612-8394 or by email. That's jewel.peterson at FultonCountyGA.gov. Join me next time for more fitness, fun, and education. And remember, just because today's workout is over doesn't mean you stop moving. Just keep making the steps towards healthy living. For FTTV, I'm Jewel Peterson.